Yes, guys, day by day, things are changing alive in the Fortnite world. Even though season four has just started, we're already off to an incredible start with a brand new POI right in the game now and a bunch more awesome stuff. Yo, guys, what is going on? Bobbles here. Yes, that's right. You heard it correctly. There is a brand new POI already in the game. Now, this stuff is literally coming out of nowhere. We've got a bunch more POIs to come in the very near future. So stay tuned in this video to find out absolutely everything everything that's changing and happening within the Fortnite world. So guys, if you do indeed go on to enjoy today's video and you are excited for the next POI to come, smash a like on the video. Don't forget to obviously subscribe to me here in the channel to stay up to date with all the latest Fortnite news leaks and updates. And finally guys, make sure you are indeed using credit code bubbles in the Fortnite item shop to put your girl that one step further. Anyway guys, no more talking, let's get cracking straight on with the video today. Starting off with the first topic, it is a little bit of tips, a little bit of of advice for you guys out there that are looking for a lot of XP. If you guys want a lot of XP, a big tip for that is indeed Team Rumble because in Team Rumble there is indeed a 100% of chest spawn rate. There you guys go. A little tip for you. I'm going to be making a separate video within the next few days on the best possible ways to get XP. That one will be included and there will be a bunch more so look forward to that on the channel though guys. Let's move on though to the next topic here and is indeed going to be about all of the new POIs, the POIs that have happened over the past a couple of days and all that kind of stuff. So, as we all know, there was indeed a bunch of POIs I made in a separate video yesterday discussing all of them, what were leaked, and we actually have a bit more information today about those POIs, the locations of where they're going to be, than what we did yesterday, and one of them is even in the game already. So what are those POIs? We did indeed have the prison truck, the doghouse, the collector's museum, and panther's monument. We're going to be talking about those ones in a moment, but if you want to know a rough idea of the locations of those, here is a map created by the one, the only Fort Tory who made it and those are the exact locations in which we are going to be finding those awesome new POIs very soon in Fortnite. But let's talk about the prison truck. The prison truck, it is indeed here right in the Fortnite world right now. You can go to it. It's very close to the actual Stark Industries little site that we've got there. So very damn awesome indeed. A nice little bit of bonus loot. If you go there, I do believe it has three chests that spawn in that very small radius which is a lot, especially including the fact that spawn rate isn't 100% no more for chests. So honestly, that's a really good little drop spot. If no one else goes there, that is. If they do, it's a little bit contested, but it's, it shouldn't really be a problem. The new POI, though, is definitely really awesome. It's really cool. It's very small, but it's very nice, and it's obviously a lot to do with the storyline. So what is the storyline? Well, the actual prison truck was a part of some of the comics that were in the Marvel franchise, obviously, as this is a Marvel collaboration. Now, Trust Industries actually has a lot to do with mutant research, and it's kind of a facility based for that. It does all kinds of tests with DNA and all that kind of stuff, and it's actually a big part in the X-Men movies, I do believe. It also has a lot to do with the character Mystique. Mystique, obviously, being in this season Battle Pass, it kind of all adds up. And that is exactly why this Trust Industries company van is actually there. That's what it's transporting this person or this thing to, to go get tested on. So whether or not it's kind of a prison van or not, it's not necessarily a prison truck like it was stated it was, but it is also kind of a prison truck at the same time. It just depends on what kind of mutant or creature or even what Ethan is just inside this van is getting transported along and where it's going to. It's obviously got something to do with the Stark Industries and obviously Tony Stark, Iron Man, he's doing all of the kind of research facilities in that little lair of his. We'll talk about that in a moment, but it's all going to be connecting into one. It's all kind of connected to a storyline so honestly it's kind of big that this has actually been found and added as a POI for the story of Fortnite. So while we're on the topic, we might as well take the time to talk about the beacons. The beacons, the Tony Stark beacons, were actually all around the map. We spoke about it. They create that perfect sphere-like shape, and they're obviously all going to be activated soon and turning on soon. Now, they did, however, just get their stage one activated this morning, so it's honestly kind of all cracking off this morning. Not only did we get the new PR, but this has been started as well. And basically what's happened is they've now turned on, essentially, so they're starting 
trying to let off this kind of like smoke sort of stuff outside. They're glowing, that kind of thing. They're definitely on now. They're definitely doing something. So what exactly they're going to be doing, what they're working at to get to their final stage, we don't know obviously at the moment of time. But things are all kicking off. New POI is coming. Awesome stuff to come. And also something else that we should be seeing is something to do with this whole Black Panther monument. Now I just wanted to take the time to say obviously we've had some really upsetting, devastating news today. And that was actually that the actor that played Black Panther actually passed away. So horrific news and people were spreading sort of an insight on the situation, awareness on Reddit and the moderators of the Fortnite community actually took the post down. I think that was incredibly disrespectful and wrong of them. I don't think they should have done that. Fair enough if it was spam, but they took down this one post, which was basically a very nice idea of which if they did release a Black Panther skin or theme or that kind of thing in Fortnite to actually raise all of the money for that then to go to some form of cancer research. I thought that would be an amazing idea and that's why I wanted to bring it in this video to kind of spread more awareness of the situation and to try and hopefully find some sort of positive outcome through such a horrific thing. Thing of death and bring them more awareness and more research into it and maybe Fortnite could do something along those lines to get that. That was the idea on Reddit, I really liked it. Obviously this is a really sad bit of news so I do apologise for finishing off a video on sad news but nevertheless I hope you have enjoyed today's video. If you have make sure to let me know by leaving a thumbs up. Leave a comment down below if you guys are excited for the new POIs and your kind of theories of what exactly is going on with Iron Man, with his plans, all that kind of stuff. And finally guys make sure you are indeed using someone's credit code in the Fortnite item shop and if you do indeed want to help support your girl is in Deco Bubbles. Y'all already know that though. Hashtag ad. Anyway guys have a great rest of your day. Thanks for watching and until next time see ya.